a good person. I like you. Valiant stranger who has just burst into my life. I am the master of this house. Count Dayron Kale, Myriad Mellifluous Monikers Arunde. No need to introduce yourself. I find remembering insignificant details, such as the name of passing acquaintances, such a bore. Now that we've finished with the niceties, tell me this. How did all those thrice damned demons end up at my soiree? Oh, come. The party was deathly dull. Rather like one of the prelate's interminable sermons. I really ought to be grateful to the demons for their intrusion. They certainly added a frisson to the proceedings. It seems as though Descari's occasion was altogether more of a crush than mine. If you will pardon the pun. As a child, I had my very own pony, but I always dreamed of having a lamb. I was never allowed one. Sheep were seen as peasant animals, utterly unsuitable for the scion of a noble line. The trauma haunts me. I'm sorry that happened to you. Such a sad story. I had not even the slightest intention of upsetting such a lovely child. I'm not lovely. Some people have even called me a scarecrow before. That's patently absurd. Why, you can't possibly be a scarecrow with a crow following you around. I'm sorry if I failed to sate your curiosity. I loathe talking about myself to people I don't know, even more to those I do know. The only thing worth knowing, I have no friends here whose untimely demise I would care to mourn. The only alarming thing is how easily all this happened. I don't care for the thought that demons could come calling at my door at any moment. And just think, everyone had so much faith in the ward stones gifted by Iomade's herald, and in the might of our tamed dragon, as if there had been no Dresden or a- The Arendes are one of the most ancient and noble families in Mendiv. They are related by blood to Queen Galfrey herself. The Count is the last remaining member of his dynasty. The rest all perished around ten years ago. In the tragedy at the family seat, Heaven's Edge, the demons got past the defenses and massacred everyone in- I thank you for providing your friend with that helpful summary, my lady. I believe I've seen you before, with that hilarious buffoon, Horgus Gworm. I sincerely hope you are not engaged in any kind of sordid arrangement with him. The thought of something so splendid in proximity to something so grotesque may- Your civility knows no bounds, Count. I most assuredly do not have any arrangement with Master Gwer. Of course, of course, where are my manners? There. You can also poke about the house and claim whatever takes your fancy. Though I imagine some of you- I'm feeling very attacked right now. I thank you for the invitation, but I am not quite as desperate as I may seem. At times, it is better to be surrounded by the repugnant monk. Either way, my mansion is now safe. I have a pair of half-decent guards. I just need to drag them out of the storeroom and bring them to their senses. I ordered them to drink a love potion, you see? For reasons which seemed extremely witty at the time and in the state of inebriation, I've- As regards myself, I feel like stretching my legs. I know rudimentary divine spells, I am no friend to demons, and I elevate any society that I deign to grace with my presence. I shall accompany you, only for a short time, of course. I have no desire to remain at the vanguard for a protracted period. What say you, my ephemeral but highly diverting acquaintance? After all, Lord Descari spoiled my party. I now burn with the desire to spoil his. He's handsome. 
Having a spellcaster in the party is always useful, too. If he's strong, he'll make a good ally. If he's weak, he will die instead of us. He has all these friends at his party, and he still looks so lonely. We can take him with us. Maybe it will make him feel better? Don't ask me. Having him tag along would be like going for a nighttime stroll through the back alleys with a diamond tiara on your head. Even I don't like that kind of attention. The Count's presence can only benefit us. I think we should say yes. Huh? What? You're asking about whether to take this boy with you? The question lies outside the bounds of my interest. By the way, did you know that the young scions of noble families often sponsor the research of young scientists? What laudable passion for knowledge. True, the size of their donations bears a direct correlation to the hazardousness of the experiment. Capital. Good acquaintances that begin and end at just the right moment often leave the most pleasant memories. Wouldn't you say? Rules are made to be broken.
Oh, skip the pleasantries. went splendidly. worthy of praise. Pretty good, aren't I?
and learn. Only you my tail is restless.
make a fine trophy. Time to share your treasures! I'll remove this obstacle. a mystery of ourselves? your back. Don't mind me. Stab you as after. to accept their statement. Decision. 
no match for me. Trouble! today's sacrifice <sighs> time to share your treasures <laughs> no match for me go for their home There are 
are many roads to success. I hope you appreciate this. Nothing of style, do you?
だ I'll cut you wide open I will see to your demise Stab yours at you, why not? Watch and learn. I crave your commands. I will guide. Focus on the goal. I'll cheer you on from over there. No match for me. Distract them for me. to share your treasures. <laughs> Precision and grace. Right. 
I'm always open to ideas. just yet. Watch out for trouble. <laughs> Watch and learn. Distract them from me.
Keep your calm. What's on your mind? I wonder. Already? Cover me, all right? Should have listened to reason. Today's sacrifice! 